Thank you, Bob. Now to an update on a story we brought you less than two weeks ago. The College Station Noon Lions Club is moving forward with their plans to host the I Love America celebration at the George Bush Presidential Library. That news comes after we reported that after 15 years in Aggieland, the location was in jeopardy. In our top story, Alexander Bush shows us how and why the Lions Club plans to keep the 55-year-old tradition going. For eight years, Pat Brunner has been going to the Bush Library on the 4th of July. I come and bring my chair and watch the watch the fireworks. This year, she wasn't happy to hear that the I Love America celebration might not happen. I was disappointed because I know that this is such a nice venue for everybody. And um, I've heard other of my friends showing their disappointment also. But today, disappointment turns to hope. a and originally said they did not want their employees working on the holiday. Now the university is able to give some support, and the Lions Club is moving forward with plans to host the event in its usual location. The library, a and grounds, they're just perfect for it, and so we really want it to be there. And so it will continue to be the regional event that it is. The Lions Club says it's too soon to know how many resources they'll need to make up for for what the university has provided in the past. They do plan to ask local law enforcement teams if they'd like to volunteer. It's always really important to continue traditions. It's our biggest day of the year and we love having the symphony and the Lions Club and uh, all the people out here. It's special because it brings the community together. That's why the Lions Club says they're doing whatever they can to make it happen. In College Station, Alexandra Bush, KAGS HD News. Now, any law enforcement officer who would like to volunteer to work the event can contact the Noons Lions Club president. You can find that information on our website, kagstv.com. The Lions Club will also likely need more volunteers and possible funds. We'll continue to keep up, you updated when we learn more about how the community can help.